Hey everybody, Marcos Viegas here in New York being joined with Junior Lightweight Champion of the World, Mr. Tevin Farmer, who defends his belt this weekend here at the Garden in Madison Square. And first off, it's the first interview I've done with you since you became a world champion. Yeah. How's that feeling been like? I mean, it, it's good. I mean, I worked hard for it, so it, it's not like it's, it's not a surprise to me. Um, I knew I, I knew I would always be here. It's definitely a great feeling to be a world champion, but I, it's a lot more to accomplish. In terms of winning the title and doing so, you said that you expected it, but has it just bumped your level up that much more? Has it made you train harder that much more? I wouldn't say it made me train harder because I always train hard. Uh, I would say um, you definitely get better once you become champion. I think mentally. I think you get better mentally. Break that down. How have you gotten better, you feel, mentally? It's, it's, it's not something you can actually say out your mouth. It's something you just feel. Like confidence, you, you huh? You see the difference. Yeah. You see the difference in fight in your fights, and you see the difference in your spars. Mm -hmm. You definitely—it's not you could just talk about. Um, someone have to see you and be like, "Yeah, he definitely got better." That's the. It's like you impose yourself more. Like you just feel like that yeah. much more confident, right? Like you feel like, "No, I'm the champ." Like, and you just carry yourself in a certain way, yeah, right? You, you, to a to a certain level, you know you're the champ, so you gotta. You gotta um, do certain things, and you always gotta perform a certain way when you're a champion. And you gotta you gotta live up to that stuff. So it, it forces you to. Fonseca is a guy that's fought uh, for a title once before. Uh, he was stopped uh, by Tank Davis. What do you make of the style that he brings to the ring, and how do you want to fight this fight? And what do you want to show the crowd on Saturday? I mean, I'm just I'm gonna go in there and fight him the way I fight him. You know how I've been fighting, but my goal is to um, try to stop him before. Four or less, I think I will. Four or less? Yeah. Yeah. So Tank stopped him in eight. Is that a goal to stop him before that? I, it, it, don't, it don't have nothing to do. This don't have nothing to do with that guy. This has, this has everything to do with me. Um, my last opponent was tough. He said he could knock me out. I knocked him out in five. So now I want to do it in four or less. So it's a goal against myself. I'm never competing with nobody else. I'm always competing with my with myself. The goal is to win the fight. But if I could stop him in four or less, that would be better because I I stopped him quicker than I stopped my last opponent. That's the really the goal. But if I stop him in four and the tank's stopped him in eight, oh well. I mean, I, you know, I, I, I knocked him out before him. It's been, no, I don't I wanna, I don't want to say a year, but I, I was there when you fought the Japanese kid and everyone thought that you yeah, won that it, fight. It, 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 it been Has it been a year? It been over a year. Yeah, because it happened it, in it, December, right? It is the 12th? Today is the 12th. Yeah, so it happened December 9th. So a year and three days, yeah. Better memory than me, but of course you would remember because uh, yeah, you were supposed to win that night. Yeah, a year and three days, yeah. <laughs> no, but seeing a year ago that happened to now, how would you recap the emotions, the highs and lows to getting to this point now? I don't really have lows. I don't really have lows. Um, I would say 98% of my life is highs. 2% is lows. I don't really have lows. Um, what's, what's meant for you is meant for you. What's not meant for you it's not meant for you, and you and you the only person that could, that can control your happiness. So once you understand that in life, your life will be much more easier and smoother I, I, for everybody. Yeah, I like that. Yeah, it's <laughs> the, it's the truth. Uh, you you control your happiness. And you can't you can't put your happiness in no one else's hand. Whether it's a judge, whether it's outside, whether it's your girlfriend, you got to make sure you happy first. So you saying that? How do you see the whole situation of potentially having the fight with Tank Davis? They're saying that. They want it when they want it, when they feel the time is right. And it's kind of having you, not idle, but everybody wants you to see him get in the ring, both of you guys. So what do you make that whole situation? This is a, this is a question you have to ask Floyd. I don't, uh, I, I, this is a question that I shouldn't be answering. Multiple, multiple times, you can go on interviews, you see you see us neck to neck, and you, you, know, you know my answer already. So it just becomes frustrating when it, it keeps being asked. I think Floyd Mayweather should answer this. Someone should step, take Floyd Mayweather, put him to the side and say, hey, when is Seven Former Tank Davis going to fight? Keep asking the fighters, it's not going to do no justice because of course he said he won it and everybody know I won it, so it's out of the question. So You got to ask Floyd. In your personal opinion, why do you think it hasn't happened? Ellerby even said it himself. Um, what, what did that guy say? Ellerby, um, he said, we gonna fight Tevin Foreman when we wanna fight him, whatever it be. Just read between the lines. I know you went to school, you know read between the lines mean. Read between the lines. I mean they want it when they want it when, when it's when it's best for them. Um and we want it now. So when you hear when 
they say that when it's best for them, what goes on through your mind? Like, why, why do you feel the fight's not happening now as opposed to they want it later? It don't really matter right now. I, I, it's my third fight of the year. I'm making big, big, big money. So, I, I don't need him. I mean, if anything, he need me. He need a paycheck. He having four. He, he's inactive. And I'm making money. So, it's, for me, it's like, oh, if I fight him, cool. If I don't, I'm going to still make X, 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 X dollars. So, it don't really, I don't really care. Then... If you don't fight him, what's the goal then? Who's the other guy that gets the competitive juices flowing and that makes you want to have that fight? Whoever wants to fight the champion. I mean, I'm a champion now. I, I, ain't, doing, I ain't doing too much calling out. <laughs> what I'm calling need out to, right? for? What I'm, what I'm doing for? I mean, I'm a champion. <laughs> people going people gonna to call me out when they started, they started to. And I just tell them, wait their turn. Wait your turn. It's going to happen. I mean, if I got to go down the list uh, uh, of everybody in the IBF rankings, I'm going to do that one by one. I will, I will do that. And whether it's one, two, I don't have to fight number 16, 15. I want to fight a list on down. One, two, three, four, five. Whoever number one, that's what I want to fight. Is there anyone there outside of Tank, though, that gets your juices flowing, that you look at him and be like, you know what? That's a great fight. I want to fight that guy. I want to test myself. Everybody. No, I test myself already. I don't need to test myself. I know where I'm at. Um, I just want to make history. That's the goal of making history. It's not testing myself. I know I'm the shit. I know I can fight. I had a couple of losses. I had a lot, yeah, I, thank you. I did make history and I want to make, I want to be even bigger. I had a couple of losses early on in my career. When I first, first started boxing, I was 19 when I first started boxing. I turned pro, I had 16 amateur fights. So I was learning on the job. How soon is a move up in weight, do you feel? Whenever Tevin Foreman ready, whenever Tevin Foreman wants to. Um, I'm not letting nobody speed my process up. I'm not letting nobody slow it down. I'm moving at my pace. And my pace is my pace. Nobody can do it for me. I don't care who you is. Do you have a, like in your mind, like where you would like, like around what time? I mean, it's not really, it depends. I mean, opportunity. Um, so body, obviously, body if, if Vasily Lomachenko said, hey, Tevin, come on up, let's have a fight, you'd be like, okay, let's do it. Or would it be something to be like, no? Nah. Did, did, people, did people say, hey, Tevin Foreman, we're going to give you a title shot? Or did I have to work my way up to the top? to get a title shot. So it, it, it's whatever I want to do it. Straight from the muscle into a, um, it's what I want to do. Not what nobody want to do. I don't care what it is. I don't care who say what. I'm the man just like everybody else man. I'm a champion, you a champion, he a champion. We all in the same boat. We all on the same level. So it's not really, it's not really a big deal. I mean, if my body start changing, I feel like I can't make 135, then cool, I'll move up. Or they say I'm gonna offer you millions on millions, then I move up. But until then, I move at my own pace. I don't care. I can fight 35. What's a bigger fight to you, a Lomachenko fight or a tank fight? Oh, absolutely Lomachenko. I mean, for the, for, for, for like the regular people, like when it comes to like people that don't really watch boxing, that fight is bigger because it's, 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 it's kind, it kind of got deeper than boxing because we ran to each other a couple times. He's from Baltimore streets. I'm from Philly streets. I'm a black young fighter. He a black young fighter. So that's in that aspect. But what, what would do more numbers, actually? I think me and Lomachenko, we two southpaws. We both slick. We both don't get hit. So that would actually be the bigger fight. And eventually, me and Lomachenko will see each other, and that's my friend. But, you know, it's business. And I believe we the two top fighters between 130 and 135. And when we fight, we're going to make history and we're going to make a lot of money and it's going to be a hell of a fight. You already got me smiling because yeah. I'm excited for that. That's yeah. something I mean, want to see. Yeah. He just fought last week. Yeah, he got a lot of criticism. People I mean, said he looked old. What'd you make? People going to say whatever. He could have looked good. Someone always has something bad to say about you. You know, styles make fights and Pedraza is no pushover, especially at 135. At 130, he started getting too big. He started getting too big for 130. So he, um, he was weak making the weight. He got offered a lot of money to fight Davis to stay at the weight, and he was drained. He moved 35 to his natural weight, and he was strong. And Pedraza had great legs. He was able to move. When Lomachenko moved, he was able to move. He looked a lot better in this fight than the Davis fight, and I was there at the Davis fight. Yeah, so I agree with you said that. He, he, he couldn't make 130. When you when you only making 100,000 a fight, 125,000 a fight, and they come and offer you 200, 300,000 to stay at the weight, and you got a family, you're going to stay at that weight. And you're going to fight to get that money, but you're not going to be 100%. Now, he moved to 35, he's able to make the weight comfortable and make good money with Lomachenko and put on the best performance he could. On a final note, Wilder Fury, who'd you see winning? Um, 
I'm gonna keep the comment to myself. Oh, okay. Yeah. Why, why are you gonna keep it to yourself? Because it might be Tyson that you thought one. I don't really care who it is for real. For real. It's, it's, it's no reason why, cause I, it don't really matter to me. I say what I say. Yeah. But I'm gonna keep that comment to myself. Um, it was a hell of a fight with two champions, and I definitely think they should do a rematch. Who wins the rematch? Whoever come better that night. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I, I see. Yeah, yeah. Devin, hey, man. It yeah. was uh, good chatting with you, man. I can't wait for your fight uh, this Saturday. Thank you so much. I really appreciate it. Here with Devin Thank Farmer, you. defends his belt this Saturday here at the Garden in New York. Yeah.